What's up guys, Camro here, and welcome to part 33 of my How to Make a Pokemon Game tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to look at move tutors. First, we're going to make a real simple move tutor and modify it a little bit so it teaches us new and special moves. And then we're going to look at the more complex move tutors, such as, you know, the move relearner with heart scales or the move deleter. Uh, with that said, let's get into it. So what I've made here is a little move tutor guy. And really all it comes down to is using one specific conditional script command. And here it is. It's PB move tutor choose and then the name of your move. So if you want to make one of these, what you can do is just insert conditional branch and then go to the fourth page script. And then this is where you type in PB move tutor or if I could type <laughs> choose. And then in parentheses, the colon, and then the name of your move. Move. So what this does is it creates a conditional branch where if you choose not to teach a Pokemon a move, it then does everything in the else. And if you do teach it a move, it does everything underneath it. So I can delete this, and what we can look at right here is the event I've created. So it's a guy who says, hey, I'll teach your Pokemon a special move. Do you want me to teach Secret Sword to one of your Pokemon? And then it does the conditional where it does move tutor choose secret sword and if you succeed he says success i hope you use that move wisely otherwise he says okay come talk to me if you change your mind what you can do is make it so that way you can only use the move tutor once right now this move tutor can be used infinite times but if you do something like this where control self switch a on after you've taught the move and then you make another event page where if self switch a is on then he says, hey, I already taught your Pokemon the move. So doing it this way means you have a move tutor where he can only teach you the move once. So let's test this out now. One thing that you'll see is that Secret Sword is a move that can't really be taught to many Pokemon. So if we talk to him, he says, hey, I'll teach your Pokemon a special move. None of our Pokemon can really learn Secret Sword. So if we want to be able to change that, we want to go into our tms.txt in your PBS folder. It shows you a list of all the moves that can be taught via TM. And this list also applies to move tutors. So I've actually marked it, if I scroll down a bit, right here. Secret Sword can only be taught to Keldeo. So we can modify it just by adding another Pokemon to this list. We can make it so Machamp can also learn Secret Sword. And then save. Now, if we run our game, Machamp should be able to learn Secret Sword. It's pretty simple to change it. So, yeah, definitely make sure that when you're making new Pokemon or making new moves, that you also look at your TMs.txt or TM.txt and make sure that all the Pokemon can learn all the moves that you want. So now if I talk to this guy, Machamp is able to learn Secret Sword. Pretty nice. Cool. And then just to just to make extra special certain, let's do a debug and delete Machamp. Just to make extra certain. And let's do some more debug and give ourselves a Keldeo and then talk to this guy. Add Pokemon. Keldeo's down a little bit. There he is. And let's make it like 35. Cool. So now that we got ourselves a Keldeo, we can... I'm just going to put it up front. We can talk to this guy again and test it out. Cool. So Keldeo is able to learn Secret Sword. Hit enter and then it starts doing the learning and everything is working as intended. Let's get rid of Helping Hand. I don't like that move. <laughs> okay. And ta-da! Nice. So, on success, he says, success! I hope you use that move wisely. Cool. And now, self-switch A is on, and now when we talk to him again, he says, I already taught your Pokemon that move. Alright, cool. And since Keldeo learned Secret Sword, its form changed. So that that's pretty cool. Pretty nice. Right on. So, let's take a look at some of the other more complicated move tutors. I'm not gonna uh, explain exactly 100% the everything that goes into how they work, but we're, we are gonna look at the general flow of their events. So what you want to do is go to your Sidolan City maps, and then go to the Sidolan City condo, and what you'll find here is a bunch of interesting events 
like the one on the left is a move tutor and what they do is do show choice where you can choose three moves and then um, teach those moves to your Pokemon um, but these guys in the middle this guy is the move relearner and the way that he works is first he explains himself and if it's the first time talking to him he'll explain himself every other time he doesn't so that's cool and then um what he does is he checks to see if you have any heart scales if you if the amount of heart scales in your bag is greater than zero then he'll proceed but if the amount of heart scales in your bag is zero or less i don't know you i don't know how you'd have a negative number but you know if you don't have any heart scales he says hey get some heart scales then come back to me and then then what you do is you choose a pokemon and then it starts doing some checks where it says hey is that pokemon an egg is it a shadow Pokemon? Does it have any moves it can relearn? And if it fails those checks, it kicks you out. But if it passes all those checks, what it does is it starts the relearn move, which is relearn move screen, and then it gets the Pokemon that you've chosen, and then it removes a heart scale from your bag. So I'd recommend if you want to have one of these dudes in your game, you can really just copy them and then paste them on your map because all the event logic is pretty solid. So if you want to have a move relearner, then just put them there. And then if you want to change the item, what you can do is just change where it says heart scale. You can change that to be really any item you want. So like, for example, we can make it so that way he takes potions, right? Just type that in. And if your amount of potions is greater than zero, then he'll talk to you. Uh, let's modify this dialogue here a little bit too. So he says, I'm a collector of potions. I don't know. You could probably just go buy some potions if he's into them so much. <laughs> cool. And, um, and then instead of deleting a heart scale, let's delete a potion. Cool. So now when we talk to him, if we have a potion, we should be able to use the move relearn. So let's test this out. Let's test this guy out now. I, what I do need to do is make sure that I have a potion. I guess just in case I'll use some debugs to give myself one. Potion, where are you? Almost there. Yeah, there he is. Let's give ourselves 21 potions. That's a lot of potions. So when we talk to him, he'll say, Hey, I'm the move maniac. I know every single move. I also collect potions. That's it. That's not as good as... Okay, see, I didn't modify that line of dialogue, but you get the idea. Basically, I passed the check. I have more than zero potions. And now I can tutor my Pokemon. So this is the phase where I choose a Pokemon. Let's choose Machamp. Which move should I teach? Um, I don't know. Let's see. Let's teach him Seismic Toss. But yeah, see, this is the whole relearn UI. It pulled it all up. Everything's working as intended. And I'm teaching my guy a move. So that is how you do the um, move relearner. All these moves are pretty good. They're all better than... I'll just get rid of Vital Throw. Whatever. <laughs> just to prove a point. Just to show that it works. One, two, and three. Ta-da! Nice. See, that, that was another line of dialogue that needed to be modified, but essentially what I did was I handed over a potion. Now I had 21, now I have 20. So that is how you do that. And the last guy that we're going to look at is the move deleter. I really like the move deleters. I remember back when, actually no, I guess it still applies. Um, HMs were a, kind of like you couldn't remove them ever unless you had a move deleter, so I'd always want to like make a mental note of where this guy is. These guys are cool. So let me go and paste our move deleter in our map, and let's take a look at him. So the way that he works is if you, you choose yes or no, if you want to delete a move or not. If you choose no, then he's like, all right, see you later. If you choose yes, then what you do is you choose a Pokemon, and it uses PB choose Pokemon, and what both of these, um, one thing I forgot to mention is what both of these events do is they use a lot of the temp variables. So you'll see one, three, two, and four thrown, a lot, thrown around a lot. And what those are, are the temp Pokemon choice, temp move choice, and then the Pokemon name and the move name. So in these, you'll see them thrown around a lot. Um, they're kind of complex. Uh, I, I really just recommend copying these events and pasting them where you want to get it working better. But if you ever want to modify it, know that. But yeah, you choose your Pokemon, and it gets the Pokemon and the Pokemon name. And um, 
if, yeah, if you don't choose a Pokemon, he's like, okay, see you later. If you if your Pokemon that you've chosen is an egg, he's like, hey, I can't do that to egg. If it's a shadow Pokemon, he's like, nah. If your Pokemon only has one move, then he's like, I'm not gonna delete your only only one move. But otherwise, then it'll work. It'll delete your move. And um, yeah, right here's the part of the function where it deletes the move. It's it's yeah, pretty complex stuff. But that's really all there is to it. Move. So we've got our move tutor, we've got our move relearner, and we've got our move deleter. So the move tutor is really, really simple. It's just one conditional. And you can call this anywhere, and you can modify it if you choose in your tms.txt. The move relearner and the move deleters are a bit more complex. So if you want to make your own versions of them, definitely look at the ones that are already existing in the Sedolan City condo. But I recommend that you really just kind of copy them and paste them. Um, with that said, that's the end of this video. I hope it helped you out. Um, be sure to follow on Twitch and Twitter and uh, subscribe on YouTube and join the Thundaga Discord. Uh, yeah, if you have any other questions, let me know. Hit me up. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>